Where that runs in the Unreal Engine as well. Wow. So we do the whole thing. Oh, everything. <laughs> yeah, exactly. We like. Oh, we, we thought as a company, it's more attractive for a customer to work with one company supplying everything. I mean, like as entire to, solution. Yeah. Instead of going to this person, going to uh, that person, yeah. and then when it doesn't work, they say, "Oh, it's his fault." And he says, "No, oh, no, it's the, his fault." That's a nightmare. Yeah, <laughs> it, it, exactly. So like, we take ownership of the whole pipeline. Yeah. Keeps the customer happier. <laughs> Sure. You here to see anything in particular, or you came just to see the whole, the just whole everything? Lot? Okay. What yeah, do you just, What do you do? You I mean like everything? Yeah. Actually. Okay. I mean like pre-production, post-production, oh, and fantastic. also on set. So you uh, you do green screen? Uh, rarely, but I'm um, never so tried it before. Virtual but production. You just get into it, man. Uh, I saw. I, I shoot a behind the scenes video of the XR XR so you use uh, LED yeah so green screen yeah never you know one of the great things about virtual production you can control the weather yeah <laughs> but it's pretty hot inside <laughs> yeah it's pretty hot inside but you know they have things called fans <laughs> yeah aircon, so you know it is uh, I think it's the most sustainable way to work Mm -hmm. You know, and as I say, you, you can't control the environment, and uh, I think that that's a game changer, really. Faster way, faster efficiency. Exactly, that exactly right. You know, you can like you got the sunset, you can hold it. <laughs> yeah, you can hold it. You yeah. can shoot maybe thirty takes. Exactly. You want rain? You press a button. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, it's pretty cool. But I mean, it is about. I mean, people use the term sort of turnkey solution but mm -hmm. me uh is you know post production i say virtual production is all about pre-production yeah you, know? you just spend more time fix it in pre yeah <laughs> you can fix it in post maybe I mean, like harder to yeah, fix it in I mean, post i mean with this with this with the led yeah but with our technology no because we've got things called smart green so uh, i think i think unreal have got it as well so you've got an led wall mm -hmm. and then maybe you've got a little car in front of the wall mm -hmm. and then what you do is you cut out just the green of the car into the wall so you've got a green like uh, uh we call it smart green and you've just got that and then you obviously you can take it into post but what you've got all the other reflections are still you're still benefiting from the rest of the wall yeah so the whole wall doesn't turn green just the shape of the actual object that oh, you're shooting that's and then when you awesome. move when you move the camera the green follows the objects as well because you've got camera tracking i mean like the green will spill onto the subject too uh, but, i mean you're always you're always going to battle with that but that's you've got post right yeah you're going into yeah. post <laughs> so you know that, that's the whole point so it just gives you a little bit more flexibility yeah yeah because yeah. There's, there's nothing worse really than you know you've got a big led wall really expensive and they turn the whole thing green it's the world's most expensive green screen, right? That's the yeah. So you, you only really want to cut out the green of the subject that you're using, so you're still benefiting from the reflections of the LED. You mean like it will track it in the software? And yeah, it will, like... yeah, it will track it. So the camera is tracked. So where, wherever you, if you've got the... You mean like this little box over yeah, here? Yes, see this little box here. And you see this? This is the view. Oh. This is the view of this little thing here. See my hand? There's my hand. So so where's a little the camera? sensor. There you go. Tiny oh. little sensor. So tracking off these dots. Usually in the studio, we'd, that would be facing up. So oh. we'd face this up, and it'd be tracking off of the ceiling. Oh, what's yeah. weird is we did so many. So it tests. gives you this gives you six axes. Oh, okay. It gives you pan, tilt, roll. Okay. X, Y, Z. Yeah, every we, axis. Yeah, every yeah. axis. Six axes. Plus we get uh, can we get zoom and focus data as well. So all of that, and what you can do with our software, you can record all of that data. Record all of that data, and then you can export it via FBX to something like Maya mm -hmm. or 3ds Max yeah. or Cinema okay, uh, 4 Is it Cinema 4D? I think so, maybe. Yeah, Cinema 4D. That's yeah. the one. Yep. That's the one. And also, what's the other ones? There's like Duke. All those ones. Do you use all that software? No. Oh, okay. Me I neither. know. I know Cinema 4D and like Maya, okay. 3D Max, yeah. but yeah. Yeah. never use it. Never use it. <laughs> it's, it's very quite complex. Are you a gamer? You know a gamer? I kind Occasionally. of. Occasionally. Just, just have fun, maybe okay. like a few yeah. hours. Me too. As I got older, I get killed quicker, so I just. <laughs> yeah. Oh, good. Call of Duty. I love Call of Duty. Oh, um, but I always get killed. Yeah, exactly, just... yeah. And then I switch it off, and then I put Gran Turismo 7 on. And then FIFA. I like FIFA. I like the football games as well. So. How's it going, man? All good. But we've got a really cool, they've got a really cool sort of setup here. They've got, oh. they've got this platform, uh, got some, uh, and it rotates, and we're tracking the platform. 
So when that rotates, you keep the orientation, the, the world rotates with it mm -hmm. on there. Oh, yeah. And then they've got the D, they've got these lighting, and it's all DMX controlled. You mean like that yeah, the rotating yeah, stuff rotates. is controlled yeah. by the computer? Yeah. Okay. Exactly. And then a stream, uh, this is like an example of a stream. We couldn't, they can't live stream because of the, the law implications. We can't, oh. we can't put people's faces live on. Okay, okay. So what they've done is they've simulated it. Yep. And anybody that's watching the stream can actually change the color of the set. They can make it rain. Oh. It's really cool. The audience cool. participation. Yeah, pretty cool. It is pretty cool. Engaging, I think we call it. So these dots, yeah. you can just do it by yourself? or These, these dots, yeah. I mean, these dots, basically what it is, is you to put the dots on randomly. Uh -huh. so we, we normally describe it like um, in the old days where the sh people were on the ships and they used the stars to navigate. Yeah? Oh, so yeah. that's what this system does, oh, basically. Mm -hmm. You put the stars, they've got to be put down randomly. I mean, like, if, if a surface is full of texture, should I use these dots or the software can deal with it? Uh, yeah, I mean, if, if you're going to be filming the floor, yep. then you put them on the ceiling. Okay, that, that's usually, this is where the dots go. Uh -huh. The reason we didn't put them on the ceiling is that's too high. Uh. <laughs> we, can, we can track up to around about 16 meters high. 16, 16 meters high. Okay. When you go, because this is an optical tracking system, yep. if you go past 16 meters, you start getting something called optical noise. Uh. And you start getting sort of jitter. Yeah, just, yeah, 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 exactly. It just goes, goes out a little bit too much. You Freak know? out. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Okay. All right. Listen, nice yeah. to meet you, man. Nice to meet you. Oh, yeah. Cool. Enjoy the show. Huh? Enjoy the show. Oh, thanks. You're welcome.